we study 500 hurricanes that have impacted the United States since 1930. And what we find is that after each storm, there is sort of this surge of additional mortality in a state that's been impacted that has not been previously documented or associated with hurricanes in any way. These are people who are literally maybe 10, 15 years later, suffering from health issues that they may not realize are associated with the storm in some way, but which we can see in the data, they would not have died at those times had the storm not arrived. For an individual storm, we estimate that roughly seven to 11,000 additional people are dying early as a result of that storm over the subsequent 15 years. And that adds up across all storms to amount to three to 5% of all deaths in the country. What this means is that we need to think through how we respond to storms in the long term, how these communities are supported afterward, what services are provided. And also just from a broader public health standpoint, we haven't really been thinking about hurricanes as a major threat to public health. We sort of see them as an inconvenience that is tragic for a small number of community members. But what we're seeing is that this may be driving country scale patterns of mortality that we previously were unable to explain.